Hey there, hope you're doing really good today. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you one of my scalping strategies, which I use this strategy to pass my FTMO funding challenge. Let's go. Welcome back to the video. My name's Sergio and in this channel, I do a lot of reviews, tutorials, and I teach you tips and strategies to help you become a consistently profitable trader. So if that sounds good and you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and do so down below. Hit the bell so you get notified when I upload new videos. There's gonna be links in the down below in the description of this video covering everything that I talk about in this video. So check that out. So this is a special video because I'm gonna be teaching you one of the main strategies that I use to pass my FTMO funding challenge. I use this strategy on a daily basis. However, I do have other strategies that I implement into this one uh, on a day-to-day -day basis to secure profits on my trading. But I'm gonna teach you the first part of the strategy, which is super useful, and it helped me pass the 200K uh, FTMO funding challenge. All right, so we're gonna jump into the computer and I'm gonna teach you the strategy, but before we do that, go ahead and destroy that like button as it helps me out to provide more value and it lets me know you enjoy these videos so I can keep making more. So let's jump right in. All right, so let's go to trading view here. Let's go to AUD, USD, for example. Uh, this strategy works on any Forex pair. Um, it also sometimes works on indices and metals, but I prefer to only use to only use this strategy on Forex uh, because they're a lot less volatile than, for example, US 30 or XAU Gold. So stick to, so my suggestion is use this strategy on Forex pairs. Another thing you need to know is that this strategy, I use it on the five minute chart. So all you're gonna need is, you're gonna need the MACD. So you go over here to indicators and you type in MACD. It's the moving average convergence divergence. So install that, it's gonna show up down here just like that. And then you're also gonna install AEMA. Type in EMA, um, it's moving average exponential. And I'm actually gonna close this one now because uh, I already had one on there, so remove it. Um, then what you're gonna do is you're gonna select on the EMA settings, you're gonna go to input, and length, you're gonna, it's gonna say nine, you're gonna type in 100. Uh, you can also customize the visibility to make it look uh, whatever color you want and whatever size you want. But uh, the main thing is that you need the 100 as the length. Uh, once it's exactly like this, go ahead and hit okay. And you are pretty much ready to go. You don't have to change any of the settings for the MACD, just leave it as is. So let's go back in time. This is the current day today. So let's just go back to any specific period. As you can see, I have a whole bunch of trades here laid out. All right, so let's just start right here, for example. So how this is gonna work is you're gonna use the moving average, which is this blue line. If the price action is under the blue line, we're gonna go for a sell. If the price action is above, we're gonna go for a buy. So go with the trend. The trend uh, is your friend till the end, like they say. And then how you get into the trade is, um, down here on the MACD, the two lines have to cross. So for example, uh, let's uh, let's see. So right now we're under the price. So we're gonna look for the, the lines to come up and then cross completely over each other. So as you can see here, price was going down again, but the price, uh, the line, the blue line did not cross the orange line. So that's not an entry point. Um, let's continue. As you can see right here, it went slightly above it, um, but this still counts because uh, it could go slightly above it. It's no problem. Um, as long as when it, when it breaks below it, like you see right here, the price is below the uh, blue line once again. So let's go ahead and enter this trade here. Since uh, it's, we're below the blue line, uh, it's a short position. We're gonna enter the trade right where the blue line crossed the orange line. As you can see, it was right here. So on this bar, okay, that's where you enter the trade. And I always go for a one-to-one -one risk reward. So move it up here, stop loss up here. Keep in mind, price sometimes will return to just tap this level and stop people out. So it's, not, it's a very good idea to maybe put it one pip or two pips, which is not that much above the line, okay? But uh, for the take profit, we do wanna use the exact, um, the exact uh, distance. So it's gonna be a one-to-one. -one. So once you see one-to-one -one here, there you go, one, you know that's your take profit. And uh, you can raise this a little bit, like I said, one or two pips, so you could uh, have a smarter stop loss uh, because sometimes price reverses just to take people out and then it comes back. So as you can see, this trade right here won. Uh, it just kept going in our direction. So it was a winning trade right here. 
Let's continue. So right here, the line crossed, but going up, we don't take that trade because we're under the line, so we only look for sells. So let's see here, once again, it broke below it, right on this line. So let's see if this one wins. Short position, stop loss up here. You always put it at the highest point of the previous uh, high wick. Okay, so this is the candle wick right here. I put, I placed the stop loss up there. Uh, I go for one to one, and looks like this trade did not go in our favor because uh, it kept going the other way. Okay, so yeah, if we would have put it, uh, like I said, one to two pips above the wick over here, one to two pips above, um, as you can see, it tried stopping us out right here. Didn't quite reach it almost, but then eventually, nope, not yet. So the trade is still going. And then eventually right here, pop, we got stopped out. So this trade did not go in our favor. So we're one to one. Now keep in mind, this strategy does not work 100% of the time, just like any strategy in trading, no strategy will ever work 100% of the time. Um, what matters is that it works the majority of the time, that it wins more than it loses. And by sticking to a trading plan, which you can also learn my exact trading plan and my full trading strategy, which this is part of it, um, they're gonna be linked down below in the description of this video. So if you're serious about trading and you really wanna learn uh, in detail, check that out. Um, but yeah, this we're gonna keep going so that we can see if this strategy does win more than it loses. So we're still below the blue line, as you can see right here, it crossed once again, just slightly, um, but it did, it did cross. So right here, we're gonna place the short position and the wick is all the way up here, so it's pretty high. It's kind of far off, um, but we did win this trade right over here just a few minutes after. Remember, each of these bars is five minutes, so Let's see, 5, 10, 15, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35 minutes afterwards. So let's keep going. Let's see if there's any other trades. So here it went up, it went up to the blue line, but then broke down once again. And then right here is where we get the crossover once again. So this right here is a entry signal. Short position right here. Place it above the wick up here. Go for one to one. Okay, didn't make it just yet, but over here, it hit it. Okay, so that's already three wins and just one loss. Let's continue. So this doesn't count because it has to completely cross over and then come back down. Um, so here, there you go, now it crossed over. So now we look for another cross down. Let's see. So it's this one right here and here is where we finally, uh, where we got taken out once again. So right here, it crossed over. Let's see, I believe it's yeah, it's this one right here. Place the stop loss, the high wick up there. Previous, yep. And yeah, that trade definitely did not go in our favor. We got stopped out by a huge bullish candle right here. Boom. So that's two losses, three wins. Let's continue. Um, so now we are above the blue line officially here. So now we're gonna be looking for a buy trade. So we're gonna be looking for the price to come down, hold support around the blue line and go back up and for this line to cross over. So as you can see right here, it's been holding support, struggling a little bit, but holding it. Here it crossed, so I would get into this trade right here. It's a long position. I would enter right there on this candle since that's where it crossed over. Place the stop loss down here, one to one, and it immediately went into profits. Didn't quite hit it yet though, so let's see. And then if you held on to that trade, it would have given you the profit right here, bam, okay? Uh, and, and as you can see, there was another signal here. I, I guess I took this one since I have the uh, the uh, the try the uh, the risk reward uh, long trade here. Um, so it gave us the profit here, and then also you could have take, entered the trade here once again, right here, as you can see, and it would have given us profit right there again. So that's already five wins, two losses. Um, so yeah, so we can just go on and on uh, and keep doing trades. Um, let's do let's do one more. So so let's see this one right here is the next one crossed over here once again, place the stop loss up here down there. I'm, I mean, I'm sorry, uh, one to one risk reward. And right here. Yeah. And it would have hit the uh, the take profit uh, right over here again. So that's already six trades one and uh, uh, just two losses. And then over here, once again, it came down, hold support. Right here, we got another entry signal. And that one, we hit the profit right away. Okay, well anyways, you guys get the picture. This is the strategy that I have been using. Um, I'm just gonna make this video on it. I'm probably not gonna make too many more videos on this uh, because it took me a while to learn this strategy and uh, to actually see how effective it is and how much it works. 
But yeah, this is only part of my strategy. If you want to learn my complete strategy, check out the links down below in the description. Go ahead and destroy that like button. If you enjoyed the video, comment down below. Let me know what other type of trading videos you want to see from me. And that's all for this one. I'll catch you in the next video. And as always, peace.